Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, four launch units got new master abilities, so I thought I would build a team around each of the four and then have them face off each other like a uh, like a round robin. And we'll just do uh, two units uh, per team. Uh, that way we can kind of extend the fights and then sort of isolate the characters with the upgrades, uh, see what they really look like. Uh, but first we'll do Light versus Earth. Uh, Rob, he'll get more Evade, he'll get more Defense Penetration. And then for him, I gave him the uh, Samurai Subjob, I think it was. And then on the other side, uh, Mont, he got the second Master ability. Uh, he'll have Innate Hate, he'll get more Pierce Resistance. In his case, in Earth's case, he is the tank, so I'll just pair a, uh, an attacker with him, Oberon. And then for Rob, I also gave him the Ribbon, and then I gave him uh, Camillo's Trustmaster, uh, so that he can uh, buff Engelbert, raise the accuracy and uh, light attack, but then also kind of stay back, uh, since Engelbert is kind of slow and has low movement. So that Engelbert can hopefully get out in front of Rob. And then Rob, he also has his uh, vision card. We saw his vision ability there. Uh, short range, super big damage, and then 100% hit. And then he's evading pretty well. And there's a spinning attack for blind. And then I wanted to show this fight first because Mont has the stone throw on. Uh, I thought it was pretty annoying, so I'll turn that off. <laughs> Uh, but I turned off a lot of stuff, like no Esper summons. Okay, there goes Rob. And there goes Oberon. So now it's just tank versus tank. Uh, we can speed this up here. <laughs> but once again, Engelbert proving that he is just insane. And then with his uh, job level 25 uh, drain skill, he'll last even longer. Oh, I also forgot to turn off the uh, Esper summon here. Okay, revenge drain again. And then I'm really excited about these master abilities. Uh, I don't think it launches any of these characters to the, uh, the top of the meta. Uh, but like I said recently, um, even before uh, Edede got his uh, second Master ability, I think he's a great choice to fill out a uh, Mono Element team, and that's what I feel like uh, for all of these characters. Uh, but as we shall see, uh, cost 100 units are still top of the heap. Okay, here, let's do Fire versus Dark. Uh, for Edede, I gave him the Monk subjob. Uh, partway through, I turned off his uh, charge uh, skill, because I thought he was just using it too much. And then I'm not a fan of the, uh, the one-turn buffs. Because it kind of obligates the character to uh, use and attack the next turn. I like a little bit more uh, versatility for the next turn. And then also, um, he will generally prioritize that before his limit break. And I think the limit break is the most interesting buff of any of the characters here, so... Okay, this must be a battle where I turned off the uh, the charge, but he'll use that. It now costs TP, and then as we can see, he has 82 AP. I kind of think that if you use his limit break, he doesn't need bells or apron or anything else, so that's a cool improvement for him. Okay, but that was the uh, hazard crash there. Alright, there's that uh, wave attack from uh, Monk. Pretty good damage on uh, Dwayne. But unlike some of the other characters, oh, that's big damage, even with the 50% uh, barrier. Uh, but unlike some of the other characters, uh, Edede, he does not pick up a defense penetration from the second master ability. He just gets more attack, so... That was still pretty good damage on Dwayne, but not awesome. Okay, next, let's do Fire versus Light. And then uh, for Megamon, I turned off his uh, Limit Break. Uh, of course, I would have it on, uh, usually. Uh, but I thought the Berserk would maybe kind of skew the results too much. So I turn it off, we can get a more kind of a pure look at these characters fighting each other. Uh, but that just there was uh, Rob's super big AoE attack, his uh, job level 25 skill. Not a lot of damage on Megamod, however.
Okay, Twin Break, Attack and Magic Break on Engelbert. Okay, there again, his uh, Vision Ability Attack. But well, Megamon's still pretty beefy. Okay, 3,000 damage on Angleburn. That's okay. But again, he doesn't have the defense penetration. Alright, spinning attack from Rob. Okay, Rob did not evade that. Alright, he did evade that. This is a long, grueling battle. <laughs> okay, there goes Megamon. And there goes Rob. There's the uh, two-hit uh, Monk ability. Blade Bash and Stun. And Engelbert, he's just too hard. <laughs> Alright, next, let's do Dark and Earth. Dwayne, I've built him more for tanking, so more like defense uh, buffs. Uh, no bells on him. Alright, that is a, a critical and accuracy self buff on Stern. Slash attack up on Dwayne. Barriers on Oberon. Okay, Drain Killer. So here I've definitely turned off the uh, Stone Throw. Okay, Calamity Hazard. That's the uh, job level 25 slash resistance break. And then combined with uh, Dwayne's attack, the uh, Dark Imperil. That's big, big damage. Pierce attack break there from Oberon. Darkness, but barriers help uh, Oberon. All right, big old damage there. <laughs> All right, same attack there. Take down Dwayne. All right, pretty good damage output from Oberon. But yeah, Mont was just totally overpowered by all those uh, breaks and imperils. Okay, next, Fire versus Earth. Okay, hate up on Megamont. A sharp spear. That'll raise attack. Critical, and then also defense penetration with EX jobs. And Rain Killer. That's the don't act uh, attack, I believe. And let me break from Edida. Unfortunately, we don't get to hear his voice on the 1.5 speed. It's only during the uh, the one times speed. Okay, twin break. Attack and magic break on MR Mont. All right, 3,000 damage on Mont. He has the extra Pierce resistance now after the master ability upgrade. All right, he likes that attack. <laughs> okay, Pierce resistance break. Okay, that was uh, reduced damage from the uh, the barrier from the limit break. Okay, two hit punch from Monk. All right, another barrier. All right, jamming edge. <laughs> okay, there go all the barriers on Edide. And there's that wave attack from Monk. Gets counter attacked with the drain. Attack and magic break. Another long and grueling battle. 
Okay, Edede finally goes down, but he took quite a few hits from Oberon, thanks to the barriers. But uh, the drain, uh, that uh, went off that counterattack. I think that really turned the, uh, the battle there. Okay, Mega Mont takes down Oberon. Now we have Mont versus Mont. We'll speed through this too. <laughs> Okay, and Marmont picks up a crystal for healing. One damage after Sentinel. And Drain. Beast Slayer. Alright, let's see. Don't act attack. Beast Slayer again. And there goes Megamon. <laughs> okay, so MR Mont pulling out the win there. Alright, last battle. Light versus Dark. I turned off... Well, I gave uh, regular Stern the, uh, the ninja sub-job, and then I turned off Shuriken. I think Shuriken could be good, actually, because he does pick up the innate uh, defense penetration. But I really wanted to see uh, Anton in action. I think that's one of the, uh, the best reasons to use a uh, regular Stern now, especially if you're trying to uh, choose between him and Super Stern. And then with his innate defense penetration, uh, like the main thing that's going to protect people from that Anton is going to be uh, Dark Resistance. So I'm very curious to see that in action. But he'll use a Calamity Hazard there. Okay, there goes Engelbert. Big damage from Dwayne. Alright, there's the Vision ability. Take down Dwayne. And Anton, but evaded rats. <laughs> I really wanted to see the damage there. That's pretty good damage for a uh, regular attack. Anton again, but miss again. I'm almost certain that that would one-punch Rob, but Rob pulls it out. Okay, so that was some mock battles looking at the sort of the mastery ability upgraded characters. Again, I think a lot of these characters would work uh, really well in mono element parties where they don't have to be the main attacker or the only attacker. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.